Good evening all of you. Today we are going to see your first assignment of finite element analysis of cantilever beam subjected to a point cloud. And we are going to solve this problem using ANSYS soft. This is the general configuration of cantilever beam which is having two cross section A1 and A2 subjected to a point cloud of 100 km. If you are from Pillai College of Engineering, you have to choose A1 accordingly. In current case, I am assuming that your roll number is 10. So my A1, which is the bigger area, will become 60 into 60. I am assuming a square cross section. The smaller area will be the half of this which is 30 into 30. Here I am dividing that one dimension. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. One, one more extra thing I am going to add is two different material properties. The first section will have a material properties of 210 kilonewton per mm square young modulus whereas smaller section will have a young modulus of 150 kilonewton per mm square. For the both the cases I am assuming a Poisson's ratio of 0.3. <coughs> now let's solve this problem using ANSYS. This is the general GUI of ANSYS. First thing we will do is to choose the type of analysis we are going to perform. As it is a structural analysis, I am going to choose structure in preferences. Click OK. Now, first thing is to select the type of element. For that, click on preprocessor, element type and here simply add the element. Current problem is a case of one dimensional so we are going to use a link element which has capacity to undergo tensile as well as compressor load. Click OK. Though it's a 1D problem we have to add extra dimension to it which is nothing but the area of different section. For that go to sections and in the link click on add. You have to define the section as here we have used A1 and A2. I am going to use the section ID 1 and I will input the area 60 into 60. Apply. Same way define the second section. Here take 30 into 30. Click on OK. Now we have defined section. The next thing is to define the material property. For that go to material properties and click on material models. In material model there will be a default material model having a ID1. Under that define the structural property required for steel which is structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Input the poison ratio 210 10 is to 3 and Poisson's ratio will be 0.3. Now add another material model which will have a ID up to in the same way add Poisson's ratio of 150 kilonewton per mm. And Poisson's ratio will be 0.3. Sorry, this is young model and this is Poisson's ratio. In this way we have created two material models. Now next task is to draw two line segments. For that go to modeling, create. First we will create key points through key points in active cross section. As you choose, define the first point which will be at origin. Click on apply. Second point will be at a distance 100 from origin and third will be at a distance of 200 from origin. Click on OK. 
as you click ok you can see three key points next task is create lines then go to lines click on straight line choose the bone in both endpoints first second second third in this way we have created two lines now next task is meshing in meshing first we have to define the meshing attributes for that go to meshing click on mesh attributes and here we have to choose the line one by one for that click on pick line choose the first line apply as you can see by default it is taking the material number one and element section number one now click on apply and choose the second segment click ok and here don't forget to change the element section now click ok so far we have defined the mesh attributes now next task is meshing for that we are going to use mesh tool in mesh tool we can define a size control here for that click on lines set and choose the both line element here we have to define the uh, individual element length or we can define the in how many segments we need to define we need to divide that line for that click on 10 then click ok now you can see that the mesh attribute has been assigned but that line element are not meshed for that click here on raise and needle and click on mesh icon Select both the lines and click OK. By doing that, we have made this line. Now, next task is application of bonding condition. For that, go to loads, define loads. First, we will secure the fixed corner by clicking on key points. The point which is as origin, we will fix that. For that, choose that point and click OK. Here you can constrain all degrees of freedom. Now we will apply a load of 100 kN on free end. For that, again go to apply structural and force on key point. Click the free end and here we will input 100 kN. Here we have applied a load of 100 kilonewton tensile that's why arrow is going away from the x-axis away from the origin if you want to compression you have to just give a negative sign over there now we have ready to solve the problem for that go to solution and click on current ls current ls means current load step then click on here it will give a what you have analysis we are doing just click ok it will take some time and solve the problem now we have to find out the what is the deformation at free end for that go to general post processor plot result control plot nodal solution and here under DF solution degrees of freedom solution choose displacement vector and click ok so 0.87 will be the deformation of cantilever beam in current configuration subject to 100 kN node. Here we can see the cross section as well. For that, to go to plot controls, style, size, and shape, and you have to check on this display of element. So that display element will get turned on. Click OK. As you click OK, you will be able to see the cross section. So it properly click on isometric now this is your first solution to create that solution properly you have to save it in meta file for that go to plot controls write meta file invert white back and you have to just save the file as you go back In documents 
this is your sign you can see that now we have to retract stress values for the stress value first we need to select a load case for that go to redesert and click on large set next thing is we have to define element in define element table option for that click on define table and in result data item go to the bottom where you will find by sequence and then ls1 load step 1 as you click now you type one after that click on okay as you click the element data will be extracted and stored in the label ls1 now close now we have to list the trace value for, for that just simply click on list element table and click on ls1 these are the trace value experienced by this element number can also see like that. Thank you.